Did you come? It's today, right here. And it's either in this room or it's in one of the other rooms on the side. Watch, I'll be happy to show it to you. All right, hey, I'm happy to show you this too. Like, let's try to find the X and Y intercepts because that's really cool. And you know, you just never know when you're going to be out on a Friday night and you can be able to find the X and Y intercept. So, just saying, it makes for a great date, guys. All right. I'm telling you, you pick your girl up. What are we doing tonight? X and Y intercepts. <laughs> You will have her forever. <laughs> okay? All right. Let's, let's take a look at how to find the x-intercepts. So, how do you find the x-intercept? To find the x-intercept, you want to set y equal to 0. It's very important to do that. So, to find the x-intercept in this case, 6x minus 3 times 0 equals 24. And after you set y equal to 0, you solve for x. So in this case, 6x equals 24. You're going to divide by 6, divide by 6, and you'll get x is equal to 4. Okay? Now, to find the y-intercept, you're going to set x equal to 0. Okay? So in this case, you'll say 6 times 0 minus 3y equals 24. Okay? So now, negative 3y equals 24, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and you'll get y equals negative 8. Now, some of you will use what, what I call, a, or not what I call, but what some people call a cover-up, where you cover up the x to find the y, or you cover up the y to find the x. It's all the same stuff. Okay, I don't tend to do those kind of gimmicky things, but it works. It's fine. All right, so for the next one, to find the y or the x-intercept for this one, y equals 5x plus 9. Again, you're going to set y equal to 0. So 0 equals 5x plus 9. You'll subtract 9, subtract 9. You'll get negative 9 equals 5x. Divide by, divide by 5. Divide by 5. x is equal to negative 9 fifths. Now, to find the y-intercept, some of you will recognize this equation. What's the name of that equation? What, what form is that in? Y equals mx plus b. This is of the form y equals mx plus b. Some of you will recognize that. If you don't, it's okay. But when you recognize y equals mx plus b, then you immediately know the y-intercept is 9. 9. Now, if you didn't know that, it's no big deal. Go ahead and plug in x is 0 and solve for y. It just so happens in this case... It's a pretty easy solve. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 9 is 9, so you'd say your y-intercept is 9. Now, with all of these, you can make them ordered pairs as well. You could say, well, this is the ordered pair is 0, 9, and that's fine as well. Negative 9 fifths 0 would be the x-intercept. You can make them ordered pairs, no problem. Okay. Lastly, find the x-intercept. Set y equal to 0. x equals 4 times 0 minus 3. So in this case, x equals negative 3. Okay. Um, so this is negative 3, 0, or just x equals negative 3. Again, it doesn't matter. Okay. To find the y, you set x equal to 0. So 0 equals 4y minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides. 4y equals 3. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and you'll get y equals 3 fourths. Again, you can say 0, 3 fourths if you wanted to. Okay. With that being said, those are the first three on the sheet for today. We will continue with uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 later on.